What is going on, Sip Nation? How are y'all doing? I am MC Shaky, of course. And right now, I am doing this video in the bathroom. Y'all can obviously see this is not normally where I usually am uh, doing YouTube videos, but I am here. So check this out. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Good, bad, and no matter. Tell me what y'all think. Um, this video is me talking about what I do with my hair. Now, first, I must come with this warning. Do not do this on your own. Please speak to a licensed cosmetologist. Don't say shake it so you do this and your hair done fell out. That is not my problem. <laughs> that is obviously your problem. I'm telling you, don't do this. This is me only explaining what I do because a lot of people always ask me, how do I get my hair to pop? And, and as y'all know, I have had several, several different colors when it comes to my hair. Um, I like color. That's like, like my thing. I like to live life in color and kind of I've literally tried every single color under the rainbow. All right. So um, also, don't forget to not don't if you don't already follow me at MC Shake It Live on IG, Twitter, uh, Snapchat and Facebook. So you can find me on all those places. So. All right. So you're going to need a few. Now, I'm not going to talk about the products that I particularly use or the brands of the products that I particularly use. I want this video to be unbranded. Um, I want you to find your own brand. Um, I will talk about the brand when I get to the color video, which is what I do. We'll, we'll do next. But the first step is usually for people of my skin color or even some of the others, the, the Caucasian or Latin skin color. Our hair is already a color. And so to get those vibrant neon colors and bright, bright colors that I be having, you actually have to take away the color that you originally have. You got to think of it like if you have a piece of construction paper, of course, you could color on a white construction paper. But if you have a black construction paper, how can you color on that? So the this video is just about getting to remove the hair color that I do. So the first thing I do is so now right now my hair is like this bluish type tint. As y'all can see, it has a little new growth, so it's black in some areas, and a few little gray hairs popping out here now. Um, now, I keep short hair, so I change my colors frequently. I do not recommend you bleaching your color, your hair, no more than once a month. Um, I do it maybe every two weeks. It's just generally how my hair color goes. And so I have a lot of new growth generally. But if you have long hair, I don't recommend you doing it more than once a month because your hair going to start thinning and falling out. Um, even though I do it a, a, every two weeks, a lot of times when I'm just ble bleaching it is the new growth. So um, to get this, so I'm going a different color in a few minutes, and I'll talk about that in the next video that I do. But um, so the first part is to get the color that I have out. And so you're going to need a few things. Um, first thing I think you're going to need is some petroleum jelly. Um, the reason why it kind of protects the bleach gets places that you may not want it to go. And so I use this to kind of put on my ears and areas that um that that i want to protect because i don't like it itches <laughs> actually the bleach actually does that so um what i will do is oh god so um i can see it a little bit through here i just kind of like do my ears a little petroleum jelly here the petroleum jelly there and just kind of like the tip parts of the ears where some of the actual product will actually go um i do do it Kind of like ah, I dropped it in the back of my neck area because sometimes it'll drip right here. And I kind of just follow eh, a little bit away from my hairline. Let me go look in the mirror because I <laughs> I'm looking in the um thing and it looks and it's like the left is right and the right is left. So what I would do is um go and petroleum jelly like my areas which is just basically like at least a little bit away from the hairline because I want to get the whole hairline. Um, and I'll be right back in like two seconds. Hold on. <laughs> All right, so I'm back. And so as you can see, I kind of just got petroleum jelly. I mean, I'm, I'm liberal with it because I'm like really worried about like it getting everywhere. So what I do, I'm going to do, the thing, the next thing that you're going to need is actually your bleach, which is your peroxide powder. And you're going to need developer cream. So developer cream generally comes in. Um, I've seen that you could just buy commercially in from 20 to 50 volume. 
And so what happens is the 50 volume is like a little, so if your head's really, really dark, you probably want to go closer to the 50. If it's already kind of light, you want to stay around to the 20. It also has to do something with the um, thickness and how much your hair could take. Now, if it's your first time doing it, I recommend you start with a 20 because it's going to still lighten your hair but still remove some of the color. It might not be give you a lot of bang for your buck for the amount of time that you put into it. But start with that because those 50s, you got to be really, really careful. So it's like 20, 30, 40, 50 is the ones I've seen. I think there is a 10 developer. But I would, yeah, I wouldn't even <laughs> ever use that. So what you do there is you are going to mix the developer one scoop per four milliliters or something. There's instructions on it. Follow them instructions. I'm just showing y'all what I do. Now I'm supposed to measure, but I promise y'all not gonna measure. I get some, um, you know, just regular gloves, some um, vinyl gloves, or there's different color ones because you don't want this getting on your hand because it will itch to death and it will, like, <laughs> I can tell you, this is what it is. Um, so I just get, I have a little bowl, just a regular bowl that I use. It's a little throwaway bowl that I got at the Dollar Tree for like a 50 cents thing. It's like three of them in a thing for a dollar and a plastic spoon so I can mix. Um, <clears throat> and so what I do is take this and, how should I see this part? Which is, um, and I'll show y'all what the mix will look like. And I just put put my nasty little scoop in. I'm gonna put a nasty little another scoop in because I like to use a lot of the butter. Um, let's see. Whoopsie. And so, so I put two scoops in, which is enough for my hair. Now, if you are using, if you have a longer hair or you're dying bundles or something, you probably want to do more uh, actual power. Um, and equate it to what it's supposed to be pursuant to the instructions. All right. <clears throat> so now today, because I have a lot of new growth and the blue is a little darker, I'm going to be using um, a 50 developer. But I don't recommend you just starting out with this because a 50 is like really like that B-I-T-C-H and she will take you through the ring because you have to have your timing perfect for her. I'm blurry, y'all. Okay. I'm not feeling like doing this live. I'm just doing live videos. And so um, basically, you have the developer and the powder, and you mix them up. Not hard. Mix them, and they're going to give you a nasty little creamy type spiel. It's going to be a little powder and gritty. You want to mix it until it's like you got to really, you could smell the bleach in here. Like it literally is that real. Um, You mix it up. I like mine's a little thick. Some people like their soupy. I like mine a little thicker. Um, and you mix her up until you get her like that consistency. You got it? So it just mix up. You don't want to have it crummy. You want it creamy, if that makes any sense. You want her very, very creamy. And once you do that, make sure your hair is dry. If you washed it last night, it's perfect. Um, don't listen, it's not really supposed to be wet when you do this, um, but it's supposed to be clean. Um, so, um, I did wash my hair last night, so we good. So, the next step is just applying it now. Um, I have this little application thingy, but I don't ever use it. But please feel free to use it if you want to try to definitely get um, a good consistency all over because, um, it is what I just do is just slap it on there. So I just put it on there and kind of like work. I work it in my hair short and I'm worried more about the new growth. Um, I know that this um, mixture will definitely, 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 definitely get the blue out without no hesitation. It's a 50. Um, but I want my new growth to be very, very light. So what I'm going to do is give me a second. I'm going to go over here and look in the mirror because I like to look in the mirror. Uh, I use another mirror to make sure I get all the back evenly and I don't miss spots. And I'll show you what I do next. So stay right there. Right. All right, so I'm back, and as you can see, it's pretty even all over. Um, I just kind of slick it back, but I mean, you know, you can do it a number of ways. However, even when if you do have bundles or something, like if you're bleaching bundles or something, it is what it is. You gotta like kind of make sure you get it all even. So as you can see, it's pretty even all over. Um, might be a little thick in some spots, and I just kind of like mat it down or whatever, just to kind of make sure it's, it's getting all the spots. 
like I said, I'm more worried about the Lugos at this point because that's the darker one, the darker colors, and I'm going to a lighter color. Um, so I definitely want to make sure that it is um it is even all over. And I didn't miss a spot. Now I did look in the mirror, but I will turn around so y'all can see the back too. And you know, so it should be even as I can see in the mirror that I held up when I had paused the video. But that's kind of like what it is. And I just kind of work and I can see working already. Like I can feel like the tickle <laughs> and I can see that a lot of the color. So the next the next step now, our people, um, a cosmetologist, one of my friends who is a licensed cosmetologist, say I will go by quicker if you put a heater on it. I never do that. I don't do that because it's just like all right. So what we do next is take one of these little caps, stick her on. So because it's going to drip. And I go get some meat. <laughs> basically, that's what I do. It's a, um, that's basically the process of bleaching it. I go get something to eat. And then, um, so um, generally on a 50, you let her stay in without heat, uh, like 10 to 12 minutes, or just as much as you can stand to make sure it's like, if you're leaving it too long, your hair's going to fall out. If you don't leave it enough, there's going to still be black spots. So I leave it in about 10 to 12 minutes on a 50. Um, I'm probably going to leave it in about the stronger side to 12 minutes, meaning like the 12 come up kind of close to 13. And then I'll just basically rinse it out. Um, and um, so I will do that. I will stop the video um, and I will talk to y'all in a few minutes with when I rinse it out. So that's just basically it. Um, slap her in, use a powder developer, slap her in, let her sit a few minutes. You can see it working, you know, check on it. People that use a heater, I think they say like, it takes like once you use the thing, it takes like five minutes. I'm not a fan of that. I just, like, I can, because I can really feel it activate. Um, so join me back in a few minutes and you'll see the the rinse out process and what it looks like. So see you on a few seconds. All right, so yeah, about 12 minutes ago, this is what happened. So I bleached my hair. And so as you can see, it's kind of like, you know, just, you could tell it's white. So what I'm gonna do is uh, take this off and then I'm going to rinse all of this mixture completely out of my hair um, and let it breathe like two minutes. So let's take it off and see what it looks like. Ah, can you see it looks white? It looks really, really white. Can y'all see? This is perfect. It's like, I can really tell I've got it near perfect. So um, it's like perfect dyeing blend so if y'all just stay there for two seconds i'm going to definitely um rinse this out and i do use a um i like getting it too. so um just a basic shampoo that's in this thing just a basic little shampoo to get this out i don't put no conditioner in it because that, that messes with the dye that i'm about to put in it after this so um just a basic shampoo. I don't put much in there, just enough to get make sure that everything comes out. So um, I'm about to get naked <laughs> and get in the shower and just rinse it out because I like it completely, completely rinsed out. A lot of people like to rinse in the sink and stuff, and that's cool, but I want to get in the tub because I don't want any part of this peroxide still in my hair. So I'm going to cut the camera off for just a little while and do that, and then I will talk to you in a minute. Okay, so this is what we got. There's a little bit of the blue still left. Uh, it looks weird to y'all, but for the most part, it's giving me like a goldish, like white um, stuff. The blue that's still left in there is probably from the roots, and they just kind of like fall back. It was because some of that was really the darker blue. Now, does that matter for me? Um, probably not, because I'm going to go over it right now with another color, and so it'll just blend in. But it's a very, very light, faint blue that is going to definitely be redyed. Um, and but I think if I'm com like all you could tell my natural tones are definitely like my uh, are definitely colorable now. This is a nasty old color. This yellow it was like if it was just that yellow, I probably I'm like a rock that because it was a, it's a nasty old color itself. Nikki, <laughs> I ain't got no clothes on. I ain't got no clothes on. So um, <laughs> all right, so this is where I'm going to talk about products at. Um. So um, they, now they did not pay me for this, but they did send me some. So, but I'm going to try today 
the uh, matrix so color coat. So it's a neon semi-permanent color. It does not last forever. Um, it's all good stuff. But the only thing about this, it's not retail sale. You have to ask your licensed cosmetologist to use it um, so if they want to use it on your hair. But as y'all know, I was blending my own colors for a long time. But Matrix actually makes the colors that I want. So I'm actually going back to green today. Um, and so that's why the blue, it doesn't really too much matter. Um, if this was an issue and I was going to a different color that would offset the blue, I would actually probably go to Barber first and make sure you cut off most of that because I do do little haircut. So um, I'm going back to a neon green, which I try to make myself half the time, but Matrix actually makes one. Um, their Instagram is, um, if you want to find out, um, is just at Matrix. <laughs> um, and what they do is, boom, they, um, they make color, and they actually have some other stuff that I'm going to actually use. And this is not for the first time. But this is how my colors look cute for a long time. I use this Keep Me Vivid uh, spray that actually you spray your hair after this color to kind of lock in. Um, especially when you get a good lift of your color, you actually want to do something that keeps it like, you know, so this is a, um, it's called a color lamination. And so what it does is it locks in the pigments. And so it, it, it lasts longer. And uh, I do use the Keep Me Vivid shampoo. So I was using, this, using these products matrix on my blue hair which made it last like three weeks in a verse to just a couple weeks so um so right now which y'all gonna see me do so that's matrix make sure y'all um, go see what they got or uh, go find a um salon person that uses their product if your salon person don't use their products and you want them bright vivid colors that i'll be getting definitely go see because they have a lot of them and they're so nasty so okay so my color's going and I'm putting them back on my gloves because this next part is actually the fun part. Um, <laughs> so what we do here, so what you rinse it out and make sure it's good and dry. It can be a little damp, but not too much. You want it to be good and dry. Um, some people use a blow dryer. Um, I just kind of like just let me turn this off. I hope y'all because I just forgot about that being a part of the thing, um, which was the thing in the bathroom. So what I'm gonna do is just evenly, evenly. Color my hair. So I'm going to this neon green semi permanent color from Matrix. It's a cult collection. Um, and this again, you're supposed to use this to do it. I kind of use it after I kind of like just paint my hair with my hands because I'm good with my hands. If y'all didn't know. Um, and I just kind of like whoop -de -whoop, put it on. I just Put it there. And then I might, what I might do when I get a lot of it in, that's a pretty green. It's going to be a pretty green. I can tell. It's giving me, it's giving me Hulk green. It's giving me cute with the yellow. Um, I'm liberal with it. Um, they have certain amounts that you're supposed to use for certain things, but I'm very liberal with my hair color. Um, if you're using a darker color, I do recommend you putting some petroleum jelly or something on, but this is a light, breezy, um, cream color. It's really, like, not heavy, so I can just do as I please. So, I kind of got it everywhere, and I feel like it's everywhere, but what I'm going to do is take a minute to go look in the mirror, and this is where I actually use this to kind of, like, play with it in, and, um... It's a four ounce. It comes in four ounce. But your hair care professional or a licensed cosmetologist, if you are a licensed cosmetologist, you can use. So this is going to give me, I feel like, a nice, good, blended green, which is my signature color. But y'all, I don't know. So let me, um, let me go look in the mirror to make sure I got all those right parts. And um, I'll come right, right back. Let me just pause it. All right. So it's in there pretty good. What I do then is then now take this little brush and just kind of work her in just to make sure you get all the roots and stuff. I like to get make sure it looks a good even look. And I just kind of play in my hair. It also kind of feels good. This is a good color for Matrix. I'm not going to lie. It is, it's, it's a good product for Matrix because it doesn't feel like, like usually when I'm blending my stuff, myself, it's giving me all kind of loose, runny, 
just kind of feels like it's sticking and painting my hair. Feels good. I like it. It doesn't feel very, it doesn't feel heavy, heavy, but it feels light and airy. But still, I could just kind of, it's just like, you know, so I just kind of work it in to make sure I got every part. I'm so anxious. And don't trip if you see a color that is not the color you expected. Now, this is my hair. I don't care. But I know, like, if you're trying to get a particular color. And like I said, this is about the process, not the product. I will talk about, I'll do another video one day, one day soon, about the actual coloring of different colors that you could try to expect from different things. I did come from a hot yellow like a very hot yellow instead of like a white yellow. But um, if I wanted to, to get it more white-ish, I just had to leave it in there longer. And the 50 would have took it out, but that was literally like 12 minutes, like 12 minutes and maybe a, a little change, which is a, which is good. So I worked it in, um, just kind of made it down a little bit myself just to make sure I got every part. And what I do, is yes. so as you can see it's a greenish green it's like a grassy green right now i wonder if it's gonna stay like that so um they recommend again a blow dry or heat i don't ever do that i don't like the heat component of it um but what i do now is simply throw another one of these on all right so and now that it's in and i'm just gonna sit for about um a good 15 to 20 minutes, depending on. Now, if you're using a blow dryer to heat it up, it does activate a little better. It's, it is a chemical process, but not really. It's more like a paint. This is a good color. So it's crisp. It's nice. It's a good, it's a good creamy product that they have. So um, definitely just let it, I'm letting it sit in for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I will definitely come back and tell it so we can see. So we'll do um, a rinsing of out. Um, using the pearl infused shampoo and we will see from there so thank y'all we'll see y'all in a few minutes i love y'all all right so i just took the thing off i'm sorry i took it off just forgot it off the video so i took the uh um, my little cap off uh and i wish i could show it to y'all while it was in the cap but um you could tell it's green um, I see a few yellow spots and I'm kind of a little bit concerned about it a little bit because I wanted the complete, I didn't want it to be too, I didn't want any of the yellow coming through. I don't want any of the yellow coming through. I'm doing a green, but it looks like it's going to be a green green. So um, what I'm about to do now is hop again into the shower um, and rinse it off using the, um, the, shampoo the color stain shampoo at this point don't just use any regular shampoo right here like i use regular shampoo to get the bleach out and to make sure it's completely going on my head but right here's when you want to use color stain shampoo because if you don't use color shape shampoo like you, you will rinse out your color and that's not what you want to. um it's usually especially if you're using a semi-permanent color which i am um so i have the matrix total results keep me vivid kind of shampoo in a little small bottle a little short straw bottle i guess um but any color safe shampoo would be cute at this point. Um, I don't put much shampoo, so it's green, greeny green. Um, I see a few, I don't know if y'all can see like a few specks of yellow right here around like my hairline. And if it's if it's just a few specks, I'm not gonna trip about it because my hair, my barber is actually going to like my lining has grew back since I had my last haircut, which was a couple weeks ago. And so that'll be cool for me. Um for you, however, I don't know. But it's greeny green. And it's a green, it's like a Christmas tree green ish looking. Um, I'm not sure if it's the neon neon green, but also too, I have noticed that it never comes out the color it's looking now, generally speaking. So what I will do is pause the camera and I will go into and rinse it up. And then we'll see what happens. <laughs> so I see y'all in a few seconds. It's, it's gonna be a few minutes for me, but a few seconds. For okay, me. so I just got out of the shop. And it is a it is a good green. I'm not gonna lie. Now I, will, I guess I was expecting just a little bit lighter, but it actually came out nice. It's full. It's covered. Um, 
and that's the one there was no mixing or anything involved i got a nice green or maybe a christmas tree green, that's what we call it um it's their neon um and so what it'll do is um i guess uh, you know so y'all seen in the lights so it didn't come out really really good so all right <laughs> it did come out really really nice um ooh, I'm fucking naked. <laughs> so yeah it did come out really really good it came out really covered completely it came out pretty much even there's some spots a little bit darker but that's probably my fault not theirs um it is nasty i like it i like it so this is what i'm rocking for about two weeks uh tomorrow i get a haircut and shape it up real nice and it'll look real real good um but the colors really come out real real nice um so the bleaching was good obviously um and as i said that little the few little blue strands that we were seeing before they're gone the green completely covered those up um and so that was from a 50 and it gave me a good green it's full all over it's a little darker than my signature green that i usually wear for things which is more neon dish uh but i blended myself like mixing three dyes so this came close to it though it's like a shade darker but it's real real nice and it gives me more of a mature <laughs> Than my signature green, so it's real, real nice. I like it. Um, it came out real, 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 real even. Um, it did get all the the few gray spots. It got all the things. So that was good. So again, um, that was from uh, Matrix. You can go to Instagram. Um, you can't buy their stuff by itself, but you can get it from um your personal licensed cosmetologist. They can order for you or tell them that's the point with one of the colors that you want but it really really came out good it really really came out nice um i am excited about it so i'm gonna rock this color for a couple weeks um i don't see myself changing it for a couple weeks i really like how it came out um and it, it just was good so shout out to matrix they did not pay me for this this is not a paid thing they did send me the product for free and i have a few more of the colors that i'm going to try um i might do one more video when i'm coming from the green to a different color because i think i'm gonna go lighter lighter next time because they have a lot of neon dish colors um i kind of want to do green christmas time kind of a little festive green so they kind of give me exactly that i don't know if the color wanted to do that um i am not a licensed cosmetologist so y'all can't really ask me questions about it this is just what i do um but contact the licensed cosmetologist for your color stuff needs and stuff like that people just ask me what i did and i just wanted to tell them um i'm gonna probably do another video about hair color when i go from this color to another color and that probably be it um Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to all my videos. You'll find something that you like. Um, this is MC Shaky, and I am signing off. I love y'all. Mwah. <laughs>